getting married means you'll have someone's hand to hold, even when you're feeling sick, even when you're old. It means when you sit down to eat, someone will be there, so you won't have to tell your day to an empty chair. It means that when you need some help, someone will help out, someone always near to you, so you won't have to shout. But best of all it is when it's time to turn out all the lights. You won't have to be alone or those long and scary nights. So even though you don't have toys, you don't have to care. Once you're married, you can be each other's teddy bear. So hello once again, everybody, and welcome to this lovely venue at Seamill House Hotel where I believe we might be the very first proper wedding ceremony. And we have really absolutely hit the jackpot today. The views are fantastic, the weather's fantastic, the bride and the groom are fantastic. And you can tell it's just going to be a wonderful day. So they met at, they met at student accommodation in Glasgow when Rosie, staying with her big sister, was kind of supervising her wee sister, Rebecca, who happened to be at a party in the same building. Rosie, still in her jammies, <laughs> nipped downstairs, as you do, to see Rebecca was okay, and she ended up joining the party. <laughs> so she was a wee bit embarrassed, but not enough to stop her from joining in. And there was David staying with his pal Eddie from Millport, who of course is our best man today. Now, apparently I'm told that David's chat up line was to look shocked and pretend he thought Rosie looked about 12 instead of 18. <coughs> Fortunately for everybody, she was 18. <laughs> and so it was okay to get on well together. And David managed to get Rosie's phone number. <laughs> Rosie, will you love David with all your heart and soul? I will. Will you take David as your husband? I will. Will you continue to love him and share your life with him in dark and in light? I will. Will you look after him, support and encourage him in all ways and bring him happiness and laughter? I will. Thank you. Now you, David. David, will you love Rosie with all your heart and soul? I will. Will you take Rosie as your wife? I will. Will you continue to love her and share your life with her in dark and in light? I will. And will you look after her, support and encourage her in all ways and bring her happiness and laughter? I will. Thank you both. David and Rosie, you have exchanged your personal vows and rings and you have made formal declarations in the presence of your family your friends and your witnesses. And it is my great pleasure to declare you legally married and I now pronounce you husband and wife. And in time-honored fashion, you can kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, you look absolutely stunning today and I want everyone here to know how lucky I feel right now. They say you don't marry someone you can't live with, you marry the person you can't live without. I love you in so many ways, for so many reasons, but mostly because you're my very best friend, my soulmate, and I know this is the start of many happy years together. You've been a great mother to the most important little person in our lives, our baby daughter, Emily. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thanks. So ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and raise a glass to my wife. Miss Rosemary Olds. <laughs> 